these Revenant Reborn abilities might look like. Seismic Prison, which seems to line up with his ultimate Void Grenade. It's the passive, the wall run. Look at his early abilities there, which was confirmed by what a playtester had told me. The ultimate, which at the moment seems to be similar to the Revenant's new passive was actually going to be like a It's all very confusing. What's poppin' decoys? Yeah, it happened again. Leakers leaking, seers speculating, and we ended up with a result much farther from what the sources were actually saying. Now this isn't the first time this has happened, and it's fitting that it was Revenant, because I don't think this will be the last. Do you remember Forge, Season 4's announced legend? I say announced legend and not presumed or speculated because he was officially announced by the devs. He had artwork, model sheets, lore, dialogue with other legends, a whole damn animated short dedicated to this man. <sighs> so what happened? Look, before I can talk about Forge, you need to know the players involved in this story and the actions that were leading up to this moment. When Apex was first released, they had six playable legends, two that were unlockable, Mirage and Caustic, with Respawn hinting at another two legends to be released coming soon. And that was it. But in less than a week of the game dropping, there was already a huge leak. In fact, it was THE leak, the first big leak in Apex's history. Data Matters managed to reveal 10 possible new legends, including the already teased legends Octane and Watson, but also showing off early concepts of Crypto with Locks, and a few more legends that look and sound familiar. No doubt this wasn't part of the plan, leaking years worth of content, especially when there's already crazy hype with the game already dropping. Respawn was caught with their pants down, and come season 2 people were already speculating the new legend would be Crypto, even though it was later turned out to be Watson. However, some theorized Crypto was meant to be released alongside Watson at the start of the season or midway through the season because of the sword that was featured in the season 2 logo, which could have been the leaked Korean assassin hacker with a sword, but he was later announced as the next legend a season later. So we would never know if this was an attempt from Respawn to throw off leakers. Regardless, these data miners were always a step ahead, basically guaranteeing Crypto was coming in Season 3 and Nomad in Season 4. And when I mean confirmed, I mean it was widely accepted by the entire Apex community who the next legend would be. Even if you didn't follow the leaks, the videos, the thumbnails, the rumors were undeniable. It was impossible to escape chatter of these new legends as it was always an underlying hot topic halfway through the season. So when Respawn started up their next dev stream, discussing the next season four, they would drop this. So our next legend coming in season four is Forge. Take a look at that handsome guy. Call him Jimmy. Go Revenant? ahead and announce for you folks. Revenant? Our next legend coming in season four is Forge. Forge. Take a look at that handsome guy. Okay. Call him Jimmy. Yeah, Forge. The next legend caught the whole community by surprise. Watching this live, I was amazed. I knew nothing about Nomad except that people were calling him the next legend. But with Forge, I was actually able to put a face and personality to the name. He was charming, charismatic, but a little cocky and full of himself. He reminded me of a certain legend that I made. He was supposed to be a defensive legend, but less boring, which was a problem with other fortified characters at the time. But Forge's ability seemed interesting, exciting including a passive that made his melees do extra damage, an offensive tactical that was basically a super punch, and an ultimate that was the same thing but dropping from the air. Needless to say, I was on board with Forge, and so were a lot of others. But obviously, we know that Forge was never released come season 4, because James the Forge McCormick was fake. He was never real. I mean, the art, the lore, the abilities, the announcement, it was all fake. In fact, there was no definitive proof that Forge was even in line to be a legend at all, considering that his abilities weren't even featured in the big leak. Respawn conjured up a completely new legend just to throw off leakers and confuse fans, in an attempt to preserve the surprise and retain hold of their IP, telling the stories that they want to tell and when. And history will tell you that Respawn won, that they foiled, hoodwinked, duped the leakers and data miners. But that's not really what happened. Of course, once Forge was announced, leakers were confused, but it didn't take them long for them to voice their skepticism. What the hell is going on here with this new Forge legend? Something tells me something fishy is actually going on here. Although most of these cries had gone unheard by all the Forge talk that was distracting the community, and while they were trying to uncover what everyone else thought wasn't there, Respawn and the Apex community were gathering around for the upcoming Stories of the Outlands trailer featuring the new legend, but Respawn failed to keep the secret from the leakers for very long. January 26, 2020, a terrible day for other reasons, but leakers managed to get a screenshot from the upcoming trailer that 
featured a major twist that the Forge wasn't going to be making his Apex debut. Instead, Revenant will be taking his place. Once the news got out, all the theories, news channels, all had to cover this story. With all these channels putting on the community page the day before the actual video was released. Of course, the information about the new legend spread like wildfire across all social medias, ruining the surprise for many. I actually remember seeing a community post and being confused as to what it was, but refusing to look closely and luckily enough, because I hadn't looked into any of the other leaks about Nomad or Revenant, I wasn't really able to put two and two together, but others weren't so lucky. The leakers had once again beaten Respawn to the punch, not only ruining the surprise twist, but also profiting from such an expose in the form of YouTube videos. Videos reporting early, unfinished, or even false content that very well could be tweaked, retooled, or even scrapped, all for the purpose of building hype. And I'm sure the same could be said about Revenant. His new skin model had been leaked for months. The whole in-game event was uploaded weeks before the cinematics even started. Although they were beautiful, they lacked any mystery as we could all tell where the story was heading and Revenant glitching didn't cause any confusion as to what was happening next. We had never seen a rework done like this, but somehow it still felt predictable and anticlimactic. Picture this, everyone in the community all thinks Revenant's best days are behind him. A weak legend with a weak kid. But all of a sudden he starts glitching in the menus and he's appearing at the end of trailers with a whole new crew of legends working together to find answers on Silva, only to realize Revenant was the missing link in all of this, kickstarting season 18's newest legend, Revenant Reborn. Hell, even throw in the leaked Revenant skin and nothing more, and it would still only strengthen the theories that could be possible. Two Revenants? New rework? Or prestige skin? Leave some mystery. Not just a Revenant watch party, but so long as leaks like this exist, stories like this may become less frequent. What's the point of taking all this time to craft an interesting story that works both in gameplay and lore, only to have it ruined? So maybe it was a good thing Forge is gone. He felt real. Something that we thought could come into the game, but was honestly just unrealistic. But years later, it still feels like he's part of the game. And years later, he's still talked about. That's what a well-crafted story can do. So we should thank Forge and see more legends like him teased and dropped. Like what they did with Ballistic Sun. I thought we were going to get a young up and coming legend, learn the new rugs. Instead we get an old guy who I admit has a really cool kit, but the twist still hit me. I just feel this was what really made Apex feel a little bit more special. It's stories, it's lore, and it's legends. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Did you remember Forge? How do you feel Rev's rework was handled? And are leaks truly taking away from what could make Apex a little more special? Comment them down below. And for more Apex history, check out this video where Revenant broke the season eight ranked meta. And this was before he got his rework. Till then, I'll see you decoys in another one. Be mighty.